It's alive! It's alive! Hey! What's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Frankenstein crossover, Frankentron! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Now, as you can see here, the box is done in the same style as the uh, Draculus here. That kind of VHS box style, which is very cool. Right up front, you have a nice piece of artwork of Frankentron. His name is Frankentron. Transformers, also Frankenstein. On this side, we have the one side of the uh, VHS tape, Universal Monsters, Frankenstein, Frankentron, all that good stuff. On this side, we have Frankenstein, up top, Transformers, on the bottom, words, things, and stuff. And then you slide out the VHS tape, and in here is where the figure sits. We get a little bit of scenery in the background as well. And on the other side, we get the VHS tape. I love this packaging presentation. It's just really, really cool. And that is basically it for get it, it that's it for the packaging be kind rewind then moving right along here we have a frankentron the next transformers universal monsters crossover figure the first one being draculus and here we have frankenstein's monster and this is pretty cool now here he is a recolor remold of uh impactor but uh overall i think this is a pretty good mold to use for this particular character but let's get in close here so we can take a look at his franken abs but at the franken noggin there's the franken noggin you can see a very nicely done head sculpt there. You got the nice front for the eyes. Does have his little bolts there coming out of the neck. Overall, a very good looking head sculpt there. You got a Decepticon symbol right there on the chest. Oops, I'll put that off to the side since it's going to pop off anyway. Of course, you get the shoulder cannon here. Again, the carryover from Impactor. You can see the new chest piece here with some different shades of green, some silver in there. Then moving down to body, we get a little bit of asymmetry going on, which looks nice, makes them look all nice and Frankenstein-y. On the Terzis, you can see we have some Decepticon symbols there on the sides of the legs on either side. And moving up the back, you got the Franken booty. Got a bit of a backpack going on there, but that is not too bad. You can see some bits of purple in there as well, but overall, a nice use of the mold in my opinion. Now, articulation-wise, what have we got? Well, the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggly-waggly, a little bit of up, a little bit of down. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You have bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Um, no wrist rotation. You do have this inward movement due to transformation, but that's all you get. The hands are just stuck palm down, so you can have them posed like... That's 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 why. That's why I did that. But, you know, hey. <laughs> uh, you do have waist rotation. It's more like upper torso rotation. It's not at the waist itself, but hey, it's there if you need it. Um, you can unclip the waist. This clip is quite tight on my copy, by the way. There you go. Unclip the waist, and that does give you ab crunch, which is nice. Then snap it back in. Okay, this is a tight clip on my copy, anyway. Yep, there we go. Now, as far as the legs go, legs can go forward that far. They can go back that far. Outward, you can do the full Franken splits. Um, you have rotation right above the knee. 90 degrees of bend at the knee. And the feet, um, they can't really move up, but the toes can move down. And you have a bit of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, one popped off while we were looking at him, but we get this bit right here, um, which is cast in green and then painted over with the silver. It's it's a it's like a conductor. It's, I don't I don't know science. Okay, I don't know science, fictional or otherwise. It's it's a it's a thing that electricity and go and it does that. I don't I don't know. But the instructions want you to plug it into a shoulder like that. You can do that if you want to, or you can. Also, angle it down. They have a picture like that on the uh, obligatory product shots. You can do that as well. If you want, you can just plug this onto his back. Have that there. Or, you know, there. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. You can plug it up top here. Also, again, things you can do if you want to do it. Why not? Dare I say why not? But I'm going to leave it on his shoulder. Per the instructions for now. 
just because. But you got that. And we also get an effects part. We get some purple electricity. Not electricity, some purple electricity. That's right. That's the official term. But uh, very nicely molded there. Looks very cool. Done in purple. And you can plug it onto this. There's a little, little port for it right there. You just plug it in. You can have that shooting some electricity. So you can have that going on like so. Things you can do if you want to do it. Just have it straight up. Whatever you want to do there. Um, there's also a post on this. Because reasons. I really don't know what that reason is. But you can, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. Have him hold it? Question mark? I don't know. There's a post there for a reason. I guess we could plug it up here, maybe. I don't know. Things you can do? Things you can do. I don't know. You can figure that out for yourself. Storage, maybe. Like that. Some Franken electricity coming out of his Franken booty. I don't know. I don't, you know, some Franken electricity coming out of his Franken shins. I, I don't know. But, you know, again, all things you can do if you want to do it. Why not? Dare I say, why not? So there you have that. And now for Camparas Hunt. Here he is with Impactor. Now, bear in mind, my Impactor does have uh, some upgrades on him, like the cannon is different, so that is supposed to be the same cannon, but I had the upgraded one on mine. But you can see here what they remolded, what they kept the same. I'll give you a turnaround here so you can see who's who, where's what, when's why, and why is how. You can see how all of that works out. Again, I have enough great kids, so I have a back filler here. Um, but again, just to give you that sense of what they did with this mold, and I think it, I think they did a good job turning this into Frankenstein's monster. Honestly, I think it works. And just because, here he is with Megs. And with our other Universal Monsters crossover, here he is with Draculus. So you can see how they look together, and they look very good together. So, uh, there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode, and I think it looks good. I like it. I personally like it. But let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So the first thing we're going to do is just remove this, put that off to the side. We're then going to rotate the Franken Nuggin 180, open up the Franken back. Tuck Franken Noggin into said Franken back, and then close up Franken back. I'm not going to do that the whole time, I promise. We're going to take the Franken Cannon and then just shift it over like so. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So we got that done. So now we're going to take the chest, open it up, kind of bring the arms forward. You want to take the hands and swing them in. Then you're going to rotate the forearm. 180 like so. Second verse just like the first. Rotate the hand in and then rotate the forearm. 180. And then you're going to swing the arms into the body. Swing it into the body. There's going to be a little tab slot connection that happens right there. So just push that up. Push that up. And everything sits just like so. And now for the legular region, you want to take his feet. Just bring them down. You want to take the feet and then bring them all the way out. Uh, you want to then undo the clip here for the waist. And again, mine is very tight. Oh, there we go. Undo that and just pivot that forward. Uh, we can also tab the legs together. And then we're going to take these sections here and swing them back. And you have tab right here is going to go into this slot right there in the foot. So just get that into place. Swing that in. And that will just tab itself in. Second verse is like the first. Just bring that around and bring that in. And all of that will secure itself. You can see like his knees end up do bending a little bit. And get all that together. And we're pretty much at the home stretch. And the last thing to do is take this and you have posts on either side, which will go into these ports right here on either side. So I'm just going to open this up and get this in. Get that all pegged in like so, and there you go. There you have a Frankentron in his robe. Uh, that's not a robot mode, in his alt mode. You had a good spin out of it. There you go, a good Franken spin. But there he is in his alt mode. And it's just an ever so slightly different version of Impactor's alt mode. But again, I think it works. I think it works. But let's get in close. Yes, we can take a look. Lots of little details. We now have this section right here. Front and center. We get 
these little spikes right here, little cow catchers. Right up front are minesweepers, whatever. Right up front, done in silver. You got the treads here done in silver as well. Some little silver bits here and there. That's all top cannon here. Has some different shades of gray. Not 50 shades of gray, but a couple shades of gray. And the Septicon symbol right up top. Septicon symbols right there on the sides. And there is the back. That should be tabbed in more. You tab. There you go. But there is the back. There is the top. There is the bottom. He does have a little rolling wheel. So he does roll as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with Impactor. Again, you can see what's going on here. What they kept the same, what they changed. Again, I'll give you the turnaround there. So you can see what's going on. So, there you have that. And here is Frank with Megs. And here he is with a bat. Blah. And of course you can take the effects parts, plug it right on there, and now he can shoot that electricity. So, there you go. So there you have a Frankentron, and um, yeah, yeah, definitely a cool crossover here in my opinion. I do quite like it, um, you know, the, uh, the the Frankenstein's monster mode looks really good. The old mode, I mean, it's just, you know, a, a modification of Siege Impact there, but it still looks good. Definitely digging these, and I hope we get more of them, you know, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Wolfman, Mummy, you know, let's let's get on it, let's get them all. I would be totally down for it. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Robot Kingdom. You can also get these crossover figures from BigBadToyStore.com as always linked in the description down below so you can check that out. Then I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers of Frankenstein crossover Frankentron. And this is M Go saying, remember, you know, stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Bomb in your face! Ah, uh, yes! My greatest creation is complete! Now rise! Did somebody say something about rising? This is not your scene! No. Oh, sorry. Okay, where was I? All right! Rise! Yes, it's alive! It's alive! Oh, if Michelle from high school could see me right now, she would be so jelly! Ah, what's going on here? What's all the commotion about? It's my newest creation! What do you think? It's a tad, um, patchwork looking, don't you think? Oh, don't take it personally, even though I totally meant it personally, I don't care. Is he? What? Why does he kind of look like me? Is this how you see me? Is this what I am to you? No, 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 of course not. I was just trying to replicate your overall demeanor. I'd like to think I'm a little more coherent, but okay, whatever. <laughs> ah, 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 what's happening? Oh, look, it means he likes you. He's accepted you as an equal. Nope, I don't like this. Don't like it. Okay, what is that doing in my spot? What? He just wanted to watch TV. Germ and holograms. Yes, yes, Jim and the Holograms, we like this show. Yeah, no, this bucket of bolts has to move and he has to move now. <laughs> oh, look, isn't that sweet? Look, he wants to share. Nope, still nope. Ah, cruelly outrageous.